What's happening, everybody? Bob Wankel, CrossingBroad.com. We have the Virginia Tech Hokies versus the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, and it was an absolute nightmare a week ago for the Fighting Irish at Michigan. They got their doors blown off. They're out of the top 10. College football playoff hopes are dead. Can Notre Dame bounce back at home this week against a Hokies team that's won three straight? We'll get to that in a minute. But before we do, know that legal sports betting is now live in Indiana. You can go to crossingbroad.com slash DK, download DraftKings Sportsbook. They will match your first bet up to $200. And FanDuel Sportsbook is also now live in Indiana as well. They have a $500 risk-free bet offer. Be sure to take advantage of that. You give me a rain. All right, so Notre Dame coming off a blowout loss a week ago at Michigan, a 30-plus point loss. Haven't seen one of those since they got railroaded by the Miami Hurricanes back in November of 2017. It's kind of a historic game both ways. Virginia Tech comes into this one as a 17-and-a-half point favorite. Interesting because they haven't been this large of an underdog going all the way back to at least the 2005 season. They were a 14-point dog at Miami, ironically, at the beginning of October, and they won the game outright. They'll try to run it back and pull off a similar upset this week at Notre Dame. Now, can they do it? Let's look at a couple different factors in this game. If you look right here, mention that loss to Miami a couple seasons ago. My main concern for Notre Dame in this game is that they drop from the number nine team in the AP poll all the way down to number 16 after that loss to Michigan a week ago. How motivated are they going to be in this game? They had college football playoff aspirations as soon or as recently as a week ago. Now we're talking about them playing in the Camping World Bowl. I don't know how up for this game Notre Dame's going to be. The other thing, and if you want to get into this, there are a ton of trends that go against the Fighting Irish in this game. You see here, Notre Dame's only 2-9 and nine against the spread as a home favorite in the month of November under head coach Brian Kelly. That's a huge red flag. And also, Notre Dame, 2-4 and four ATS after losing by 10-plus points and 1-3 and three ATS at home after losing by 10-plus points. Obviously, they lost by... Uh, over 30 a week ago. So Brian Kelly has not been great historically since he's been at Notre Dame after blowouts, getting his team to cover. And they, I think, are going to have significant motivational issues ahead of this one. Now, more generic term or a more generic trend that I think that we have to consider here. Home favorites that were ranked one to nine the previous week and lost are only 65, 87, and 6 against the spread the following week. They're only 53, 70, and 5 against the spread, won a double digit favorite the following week after they lost as a top 1 to 9 team. Also, they're only 35, 56, and 3 ATS when favored by 17 points or more. And so that is a long term historical trend dating back over the last 15 seasons that makes Notre Dame a very, very tough play on Saturday, and I'll just take that a step further. So teams that lose by double-digit points have a hard time coming back and covering the following week. Now, it's not just when they lose by double digits. The more they lose by the previous week, the worse this trend gets. If you come and take a look at this, home favorites that were ranked 1-9 to nine the previous week and lost by at least 20 points are 20 43 and three against the spread the following week. And this plays into exactly what I talked about at the very top. How no motivated will Notre Dame be in this game? And I just, I have big, big, big time questions about that. Now, some other things to consider. Road underdogs, Virginia Tech in this case, of 17 to 20 points are 11, six and one ATS, went on a three game winning streak. They're coming into this one well rested. They have a bye week. They have a ton of momentum after three consecutive wins. And so again, Notre Dame, I think is in trouble. I, I think that they're in a huge letdown spot, whereas Virginia Tech, riding some momentum coming into this one, and we see historically that teams tend to cover almost 66% of the time in this situation. Virginia Tech is also 4-2 and two overall as a road underdog under head coach Justin Fuente, and 2-1 and one as a double-digit underdog. So uh, Virginia Tech has also performed pretty well in this spot. And I don't know how much you want to put into this, but just I thought an interesting note that Virginia Tech is 9-1 and one, uh, overall in its last 10 head-to-head -head matchups against Independence. That obviously rolls with the matchup that we have in this game. So 
giving you a lot of information about why Notre Dame might be a terrible play, not just a bad play or a questionable play, but a terrible play in this one. Now let's get into why Notre Dame might possibly be able to cover this spread. All right, so if you're in the state of Indiana, chances are you're probably a Notre Dame fan. You're hoping that they can win the game, maybe cover the spread. I have not given you a lot of confidence in them, I don't think, to this point. So can they do it? I'll actually be out there on Saturday. I'm looking forward to it, really want to check out the atmosphere. I'm hoping that Notre Dame gets it done. I think it'll make for a more fun time. That's just my selfish perspective on this. So can they cover? Well, here is one bit of information that I'll look at that would say, yeah, maybe they can do it. Historically speaking, they have not let failures to cover against the spread snowball on them. So you see here, 10 and three ATS after failing to cover in their previous two games under Brian Kelly. So usually when that third game rolls around, they do get the job done. That's one thing that I would rely on. You know that they did not cover against USC in a 30-27 to 27 win two games ago, and then obviously they didn't cover, nor did they even come close to winning against Michigan last week. In terms of the total, I am leaning towards the under in this game. It's 41-26 and 26 in Notre Dame games at home under head coach Brian Kelly, and it is 17-11 and 11 in games that close with a total of 56 or more when Kelly is the head coach. And you see in this game that it is set at 57 and a half points. So for me, I do think that Notre Dame rebounds and gets the win. 17 and a half points is a ton for a hot Virginia Tech team, well rested against a Notre Dame squad that I think is going to be facing a big time letdown spot. I'll take Virginia Tech to cover the spread in this game. I'll also say that it stays under 57 and a half points. If you want more of a full breakdown on this game, visit crossingbroad.com. If you want to bet in the state of Indiana, head over to crossingbroad.com slash DK, download DraftKings. They'll match your first bet up to $200. Also, crossingbroad.com slash FD. Download FanDuel Sportsbook, and they will give you a $500 risk-free bet.